What's up, Jborg Claythorn? This guy is way too nonchalant. I feel like we have to brutalize his civilization. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Galactic Ruler Throne of Galactic Civilization Two. Uh, I've I haven't played Galactic Civilization One, and I actually don't know very much about this series at all. But uh, ooh, I don't know what's happening here. It's sort of like organism, space organism versus space organism. They're all eating each other, man. You organisms make me sick, spitting your DNA at each other. Give me the cold, hard embrace of a cybernetic life form any day. Or an android. Ah, uh, there we go. Cold, hard machinery. That's where we want to be. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. It's basically civilization in space, I think. Or, uh, like, Masters of Orion. Um, again, I haven't played it, but I did take a quick look at it. It seemed like the kind of game I could figure out, so let's just go in. Um, I was always a huge fan of Civilization back in the day and Masters of Orion, so, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. If this is an update of those kinds of 4X games, I'm gonna be all about it. So, ways to win. Research the ultimate technology and transcend mortality. Cool! Use your influence and trade to achieve cultural supremacy. Forge alliances with other major... Other major what? Uh, other major civilizations. Okay. Glad <laughs> that was filled in. Ah, uh, so there's sort of like different uh, win scenarios. Okay. Um, allow AI to use CPU intensive algorithms. I don't think so. You don't get to pump my CPU for your evil AI. Uh, we're also going to play this on... Let's do accelerated start. Lead the human race into the stars. Um, that way we can see more of the game more quickly. What's Battle of the Gods? Start with all technologies. Oh, that's interesting. Classic Galaxy. Battle of the Gods sounds cool. Ideological War. Interesting. A three-way war for control. These are interesting scenarios. Mirror Universe. You command the Terran Alliance in a Mirror Universe. A universe in which the Dredgen Empire stand for peace, justice, blah, blah, blah. What happens next up to you? Wow. Power Duel. These are Return of the Iconians. This is very Star Trek related. It's technically not Star Trek, but like Mirror Universe, Iconians. Come on, these these are Star Trek terms. Um, wow. That is so, that is very neat to have like unlimited power. To have these different scenarios. Wow, that is so cool. Well, Unfortunately for us today, we're just going to do Accelerated Star, but it's cool to even see that those options are there because I think one of the cool things about this series is like I get to try a bunch of games I wouldn't normally try. You guys get to see games you wouldn't normally try, and hopefully I'm inspiring some of you people out there to actually try some of these games yourselves. So a big game like this, we're not going to see the whole thing ourselves. Um, gigantic while wow, keeps going custom. Random. Tiny. Let's just do small. Um, okay. Habitable planets, common, abundant, random, rare, uncommon. We'll leave it occasional. We're going to leave all these as fairly standard, but it's cool that you can... Like, I already, just going through this menu, I feel like I would have played the hell out of this game back in the day. So here we go. The Terran Alliance. The humans recently joined the Interstellar Club with the invention of the Hyperdrive. They're the diplomats and traders of the galaxy. Are we really good at those things, though? <laughs> Just looking at all of human history. Uh, we might be the misinformed and... Uh, I don't know how else you classify us. Impulsive. Um, humans are always portrayed as sort of this, like, neutral, diplomatic, peaceful civilization. I would love to see a civilization game that is like... Humans are low in intellect and easily misinformed. They are quick to emotions and are very stubborn. You know, like, have us be the shitty race. For once, let's be honest, people. Let's just let's just be totally honest here. Come on, game dev. Stop pulling your punches. Acting like humans are the future of the Federation. We're the Ferengi, man. 
Or maybe the Klingons. Who knows? Anyway, morale plus 10. Okay, whatever. We're humans. Humans are great. I take it back. Um, let's go with leader named Alan Bradley. That is like the most vanilla name you could ever come up with. Let's be Zyborg Claythorn. I misspelled it. Claythorn. Oh, wait. We need a J in there. How about Jyborg? My name is Jyborg Claythorn. I am not the Terran Alliance. The Terran Dominance. We're, I, I'm, I'm customizing the human race to make them more evil. Our home world is Earth. And morale, research, all that works. We're good at economics, apparently. Abilities. We're courageous! Um, I don't know about that. Hit point? We, we can just take a lot of punches. Um, we're lucky? How about military production? How about be gifted? And... Oh, I like research. We're masters of research. Research in military. Okay, cool. Um, it's cool that you kind of get to uh, customize some stuff. Federalists are big believers in having the government be somewhat distributed. Industrialists. Let's just see. Okay, I don't care about the economics so much. Social production. I'm just totally going by the stats here. Pacifists. No thanks. Research. War party. Nah, let's... Okay, I, I don't want to go to totally war. I do like being technologist, though. That could be interesting. Okay, whoops. Hold on, back. Appearance. Oh, this is cool. I do like the look of the, our spaceships, though. What are some other options? Oh, neat. Wow. Ooh, that's cool. Um, we'll leave it at that. That's fine. Um, opponents, eight... Random, randomly pick enemy races. Oh, look at all these cool enemy races, too. Like, I don't even know what what they are about. Okay, anyway. Uh, good. The rest of the galaxy acknowledges your superior culture when you win, blah, blah, blah. The galaxy has become a tenth place since the major civilizations obtained hyperdrive technology. The race has been on to explore, expand, and colonize. Through technological research, you can gain the ability to build freighters to trade with other civilizations. We can also research military-related. That's where I'm going, baby. Um, as we explore the galaxy, we will encounter situations that help us learn what kind of civilization we are building. Are we the good guys? Is the Terran dominance the good guys or the bad guys? Yes, and show me my quarterly reports, my good man. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. So, um, I guess this is what we want to research. So we could go with Stellar, Cartography, that gives us sensors, uh, ship-wide defenses, smart chaffs, smart chafes, advanced computing, it all, this, this, this all looks good. Keep doing what you're doing, Research Hub. Now here we are on EARTH. Um, looks good, I guess. So we can build some things. Increases population cap. We have 8 billion with a 12 billion cap. And this is a prairie. Has a research bonus. Okay, so we should build some kind of research facility there. Uh, like a Xeno lab. Okay. Uh, we want to build. And what's this? This is a food production bonus. Okay, so let's build this. Build. What is this? No bonus. Sector requires soil enrichment to be usable. Hey, our capital is... Where's that? China? Well, that's interesting. But our starport is in San Francisco. Hmm. Huh. Um, okay, do we want to build anything else right now? How about, uh, build a factory? Increases income. Build. Should I queue? I wonder if I should just queue up a bunch of stuff. Let's do a market as well. Why not? Why not me? Alright, that's enough. 
All right, so here are different ships, I think. The Dominant Colony ship. Here's our flagship. Oh my god, it looks like the Enterprise. That is so cool. Saturn, Meteorite, Mercury. Oh, can we colonize Mars? Go over there. And if we zoom out, oh look, oh my god, the galaxy is tiny. How do we move the mouse? Okay, that rotates things. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, we just use the, oh no, the arrows. Yeah, I don't know how to actually, oh, there we go, old school. For some reason, it's like the arrows are clicking and dragging. It's interesting, like old school strategy games, you move the mouse to the edge of the screen to scroll, and it was like that forever, like Command and Conquer, Warcraft, everything. I feel like nowadays it's like you click and drag, like everything is now adopted, like the phone scrolling kind of technique. So I'm very not used to not being able to just scroll with either arrow keys or uh, clicking and dragging. But anyway, all right, let's end our turn. I think that's what that does. And end our turn again. Uh, all has progressed smoothly with your colonization of a new planet. You may enter the name below. Uh, the Mars War Center for the planet. It's going to be a beacon of peace and hope. Being trapped on Earth for thousands of years, we've finally begun to colonize our newest home. Where most of our citizens embrace adventurous spirit. We're also, to be aware of dangers that lies in uncharted space. Cool. All right. Well, we have 0.1 billion people of a 6 billion max. That's pretty good, I'd say. Why don't we... wonder what we can do to have more of these squares be available to us. Ocean, ocean, ocean. Sector unusable. These are all oceans. We might have to develop technologies that open things up. But um, let's uh, make this a hub of influence. Why not? Oh my god. Greetings. I hope we can build a mutually beneficial relationship. It's a human. A netromancer. Let's speak to him. Oh, and a hethesi... I can't even say that. What up, dude? From the Thalen Empire. You humans are reckless. You have no idea what you've unleashed. All right. This guy looks peaceful. Let's take advantage of him. We have 100 billion credits and one influence. And we want... Um... Oh, God. We can actually trade ships. Oh, they have multiple ships. Maybe we should be building ships. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I can... I to track or surrender. About make peace? No. Yeah. Okay. These guys... It's interesting when you do negotiate, you kind of get a peek at what they've actually got. They only have one planet, and that's good for us. All right. Cordelia. Ayla. Class zero. So I don't know what the different classes are. Mars War Center. Can we rename this? <laughs> I already have regrets. Um, ah, here we go. Let's call it, uh, let's just call it Mars Colony. Mars Colony. Why not? You know, Mars Colony. Earth, Mercury, Cordelia. All right, end our turn. All right, how do we build a ship? <clears throat> I feel like every time I go, I want to do something, I just go in and intuitively it's right there. This is a very complex game, but if you've played a bit of uh, Civilization or Master of Orion, it actually seems pretty intuitive. What does a constructor do? Or so there was like an info screen. Freighter. Should we start by developing a bit of trade? Let's try that. Done. 16 weeks. How many weeks is a turn? Is it just one week? All right, flagship. Go exploring. Yeah, there's our population. Going well, I guess. There's our research coming along, boys. 
You eggheads crack anything yet? Going over here. Oh, there's actually fog of war. That's interesting. I mean, I guess there was in Civilization 2 as well. Oh, you can click and look around. Oh my god, look. There you go. Got a left click. All right, I got it. Um, thanks for the hype. Thanks to Hyperdrive technology or people invented. We can take our place amongst the stars. Did I give you that technology or did you just straight steal it from me? Because I've never seen you before in my life, kid. Guy's a robber. Look at all his technologies. Give me some. Now, they all sound crappy, though. Industrial theory. Credible building diplomacy gives us a great advantage. In our world, it's customary for the weaker to give presents to the stronger. The gifts we would like from you include Zeno. Your military is in no position to carry out threats. Oh, damn. Okay, we need we need a better military. That's what, that's what those negotiations... That's what those peaceful negotiations taught me. We need to pump up our war machine. Get this baby really going. We need a shipyard here. The view... Shipyard... Your basic starport. We need this to launch ships. Build it! Or wait, buy it. No, build. Not ready to start pumping my cash into things. There's one thing I've learned from Civilization to Masters of Orion is that you can go bankrupt really quickly if you're not careful, so you gotta be kinda watch yourself. Um, oh god, it takes forever to build things, though. Greetings! We have interest in your technology. Would you trade Xeno Communications for Starship Defenses? Whatever. What's up, Jborg Claythorn? This guy is way too nonchalant. I feel like we have to brutalize his civilization. Oh my god, these guys are gonna brutalize us, though. The Drengen Empire. Be wary, Earther. The galaxy belongs to us. I like the cut of your jib, sir. Go to. Alright, so this guy. Got two colonies, but no technologies, just like us. We have barely anything. He only has one ship. Alright, so he sucks just as bad as us. That's good. Um, we built something. We built this research thing. Good, I guess. I want faster ships. This is the hit points of ships. Um, only if they're in orbit. I want economic output. Generates income. Popular. Maybe generating income is the way to go. We are supposed to be good at economics. Okay, so if we buy this. We can afford it. Let's do it. Throw some cash at this empire of ours. It's gonna pay for itself, right? Report has come that the Terran dominance have built an economic capital. Damn straight we did. Um, hail, human traveler. We are thankful of your wonderful adventure of the hyperdrive. Huh. These guys have absolutely nothing. Oh no, they were just saying hello. Um, give me Xeno Economics. I'll give you Xeno. There, no. Let's see if they do it. Let's see if they fall for this. Okay, you give me Xeno Economics. I'll give you uh, this. And give me this too. Not on your life. Huh, they don't want to trade even like a basic te uh, technology. That isn't cool. Interstellar governments perfected. Each culture has its own government system. We want to research each government so we can learn how to grow in our knowledge and understanding of other races. Okay. Hey, we can study alliances. Ah, the ancient art of alliances, of actually knowing... How to, uh, you know, be at peace with people. 
This allows for more diplomacy in interstellar Republic. This allows for more diplomacy in translators. Cultural exchange. All right, go for this. Extended life support. Medium scale building. There's so much to explore here. <clears throat> Research centers. Are these all just constantly being researched or do I have to select something? Like, do I have to select, like, go with plasma weapons? Warp drive. Okay. It all looks... Keep it up, eggheads. It all... Everything you're doing is great. It's all good. I'm just going to be out here focusing on trying to actually get more planets for us. Welcome, human, to our galaxy. Guy's interesting. What's on his face? He has two planets. Okay, let's see if this guy will trade with us. We want these two things, and I'll give you that. Hey, it worked! I don't know if that was a good trade for us or not, but... Here's my thinking. If we trade a little with everybody, then nobody's going to get too far ahead of us, and we'll have everything. This plan can't possibly backfire. Okay. Ooh, there's another uh, thing. Basic farming completed on Earth. Good. Keep it up, Earth. Okay, there's stars out here with no planets. I'm beginning to think that there are no other planets for us to get. Hey, we built a freighter. And let's go over to Earth here. Launch the ship. Now let us build something a little... Oh, this constructs star bases. Okay. This colonizes. Trades. Transport ships. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy a ship. Boom. And our turn, go to, okay, we built another colony ship. That's good. Now I want to launch it. Um, good, sure. But I just want the, I just want the colony ship. And can I like colonize any of these planets? That's what I want to know. And meanwhile, Let's trade. These are. You know what? I take it back. Colony ship. Why don't you go over there? Let's we'll start colonizing in the other guy's backyard. Maybe that's the way to do it. And meanwhile, we'll go and we'll try and trade. Okay. We've got a little bit of stuff going on. We're trying to colonize. We're trying to trade. I don't know if this is going to work out, but. Whatever, and our Enterprise flagship is... We're going to bring it back to the front lines here. <clears throat> For combat and defense. And our turn. And our turn. To ensure the economic stability of our galaxy and to further relations with other races, it's become obvious that trading will become a large part of any galactic expansion. However, the races we've contacted are less than eager to build dependency on the goods of the other empires. We'll take it time research to convince them to current trade restrictions on our merchants. Trade of Mirth arrived on Talia and established new trade route with their civilization that private industries will maintain during times of peace. Estimated value is 7 billion credits per month. That's pretty good. Way to do it. <clears throat> we have 9% of the galactic influence. We gotta make better TV shows, guys. Um, research. What is that? What are these cubes just floating in space? Okay. What does the upgrade do? Okay, so I don't seem to be able to colonize any of those planets. Emoth. I'm going to try instead to colonize Mercury. See if that works. Basic factory. 
Meanwhile on Earth. Oh wait. Let's change this to a freighter. Nine weeks. Oh not ready. Okay, we'll just let it do its thing. Um, is there really no other planet to colonize? Is that it? What is this scout ship? Scout ship. There's nothing. There's no there's no planets in this universe. Okay. Morale resource. What are these random resources? Pick it up, man. Okay, well, <clears throat> here's my thinking. Let's just buy this ship. Accept. Done. Turn. Good. Launch the ship. Now, let's start building warships. So, let's see. How do we do this? Research, domestic, so the shipyard. Let us design a new ship. And we want, I guess small is the biggest we can go right now. Let's go small. And this is very much like Masters of Orion, by the way. <clears throat> so we can customize how it looks. I don't care about that. Warp drive, impulse, ion drive, hyperdrive. Oh, we can give it warp drive so it goes faster. Okay. Place. We go and give it weapons. What are the most powerful weapons we have? Damage two. Okay, what's the difference between Stinger one, two? I guess we'll put Stinger threes on. Place. Put on some lasers. Place. Second component is too large to fit in the ship's zone. All right, we placed a laser. We put a railgun on too. Railgun. I know we're out of space, I guess. Okay, well, whatever. That's okay. This this is starting ship. Um, can we do we have any room for defenses? No, we don't. Well, this ship sucks. I'm disappointed in it already. Defenses modules. All right, well, whatever. Um, hold on, let's uh, here, clear it all out. Let's try this again. Um, so we want to have... Oh, I see, they're bigger. The crappier the... So this, this is actually good. We actually do want the highest mark stuff. And then you want some armor. I see. And then engine. Nothing is going to fit. Okay, whatever. What happens if you don't add engines? Does it still go? So it has one beam, two missiles, zero guns, zero shields, one point of armor. Save. We'll call this... Uh... The Falcon. Alright, let's build some Falcons. They probably suck. But let's do it. 18 weeks. We're gonna build one right now. Okay, we need to also establish trade with like far away people because the people close to us we're gonna try and go to war with. Okay, Falcon is finished. Launch the ship. Oh, it's you don't need the warp drive. Okay, also my my flagship. Oh, it's just a survey ship, it has absolutely no weapons. Okay, well. You're really this guy that's your combat dude. So we there's we can't colonize anything. What a waste. These scout ships are also totally, also totally unarmed. Raiders. 
So I've built the first ship, it seems, that has any kind of uh, offensive capabilities. Pretty funny. Maybe I can bring back the flagship and I can, like, uh, upgrade it. Upgrade. Upgrade ship. To... I don't know. A constructor? Or a freighter? Okay, I'm just going to leave it as is for now. 500 colonists, just go to Mars, I guess. I don't know what to do with you guys. Sorry I built you. Frankly. I wonder, though... Like, hold on. Maybe there is something for the colony ship out here. Um, if we... There we go. All right, colony ship, you just go exploring to the distant reaches of space. Empire is currently 10% of the galactic population while doing 11% of the research. Military rating is 220. 100 or higher is good. Our technology rating is 99. Okay, so we're doing sort of okay or in a lot of things. Uh, Falcon will attack the planet. Fair war. No, I don't want to do that yet. This has a population of 480 million, and that's 11.4 billion. I kind of want to, like, conquer something, but the thing is, I feel like it's going to backfire. Build by this. We're totally pillaging the galactic treasury, but that's okay. We'll launch the ship. Okay, we got a couple of warships going on. <laughs> Quote-unquote warships. Um, now let's go with a troop transport by that. I'm so impatient. We're going to do it right now. Okay. Let's see if we can, let's see if this war is going to work. Transport completed. Launch the ship. Available population. Do it. All right. We have a thousand crack mercenaries. We're going to go and invade. We'll invade Wisp. I think. There's no way we're going to capture Altair, but I think Wisp is probably easy picking. Meanwhile, random ships out here, military I don't know how to pick those up. There's probably you build a constructor or something, you just pick it right up and it's like free money or something. Dead. Gonna wander around looking for planets. all the way over here man you gotta find there's gotta be some planet that can be uh colonized out here okay, meanwhile where are different ships you come over here here we go oh okay we're we're invading we're invading traditional warfare <clears throat> so we have a thousand troops versus 568 defending so I think we're going to get him. Using the troops on hand is the best military equipment available. We send our battle classic way. Our men won't receive any bonuses, but the safest way to attack without damaging the worlds. New gas warfare. Proceeding with viral clouds. That doesn't seem good. Information warfare. Communication vessels orbiting and inhabiting planets will warn citizens of our invasion plans by promising them better life under our rule. Cost 800 billion credits, 5 to 11 unhappy citizens will join our ranks. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, let's go traditional. Baiting is an act of war. Yes! Alright, here we go. Here we go, boys! Starship Trooper style, everybody get in there! Okay, attack! 16 versus 4, is that good for us? I think that means we have the advantage. Oh, we annihilated them. Okay, now I do want to invade their home world. We crushed them. The Terran dominance. Get out of here, you stupid republic. Representative government, that's nonsense. Our agents have just notified us they've stolen information relating to the technology of space weapons. Yes. 
This information will be in the hands of our scientists and engineers before the end of the day, so we may begin to utilize it immediately. Space weapons perfected. Space is not a friendly space. It is it's not a friendly place. It's unfriendly to the extreme. I know, because I just invaded somebody totally unprovoked. To get space, glorious space weapons. All right, great. Keep it up, eggheads. You're doing great. The invasion of a star system is an immense undertaking. Billions of troops on both sides are involved. Only complete air and space supremacy can make ground warfare on the scale possible. It's up to you to balance the lives of our soldiers, the needs of our civilization. Well, I needed to conquer that planet. And I civilized it. So win, win, win. This planet sucks. Why did I do? Why did I waste my time? <clears throat> I wonder if we could try and invade them. I've I've seen to also have lost track of. I thought I had two warships. I can only find one. Like here's totally here's one. I don't know where the other one is. All right, Earth. Keep pumping out those troop ships. Because guess what? It's time for another invasion. I like the first invasion so much, I've decided to do it again. Launch ship. And, uh... Let's invade the homeworld this time. Why, why not us? Ew. Oh! They're trying to invade back! And they have the advantage. A heavy advantage. Oh, I don't want to see this. All right. All right. You guys conquered your planet back. But it was all a distraction. Oh, my God. Totally want to colonize that, don't we? That's done. Is that part... Is, does somebody have that already? Well, oh, somebody has it. Damn it. Stupid Iconians. These beautiful class 10 planets and they won't share with anybody else. All right, well, guess what? Wiss was just an invasion, a, a distraction to get your troops over there. Well, the main show is happening right now. Oh, wait, I can't invade for some reason. <clears throat> um, okay, keep attacking. Uh, while the mo morally just of the galaxy established trade routes with hopes of advancement, evil civilizations use trade money to fuel their hateful actions. Yeah, we might be the evil ones. How many trade routes should evil races be limited to? No limits! Council accepts a five route as the passing verdict with the tally. Hmm. Interesting how everyone... I like how these guys are on our side. They're like, yeah, war. No limits. That's cool how they're sort of like uh, United Nations type voting and stuff. Great, can bring vast amounts of revenue. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, why can't I invade? Give this info war thing a shot. Attack. Soldering. Soldiering? I have more technology, more troops, and the advantage. That looks like a big Jawa sandwalker, actually. Alright. We did it. Can we, like, pillage? Can we just, like... Because they're going to totally take this back. Um, and there's, I can't even build like planetary defense or anything because this planet sucks so bad. Why am I fighting over this stupid little planet? A waste of time, to be honest. Frankly, I don't know what I'm doing. A mining, wait, a mi you can build mining star bases? Okay, I'm learning things here. Maybe it is time to build that constructor. Constructor. Go ahead. Done. You know what? All, all tear, whatever. We're calling it off. This whole war thing. Man, look at all the trade routes they have, though. I don't like that. I think I only have one. Like a single trade route that goes over here. It's not even on the map. I, like, barely see it. 
See, like right there. It's like a blue one. Barely visible. Altaria, you're generating too much trade. I don't like it. Yeah, you suck. Plasma is actually a different type of matter. Exists in four states. Solid, liquid, and gas. Plasma is fourth state. Blah, blah, blah. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. The Falcon destroyed the Art Altarian troop transport. Terran dominance conquered the planet of Wisp. Are these the Altarians? We admire your power and wish to offer you this gift in recognition of a peaceful nature. 272 billion credits. I will take your money. Um, Let us make peace. How about give us some technology too? Oh my god, they gave it to us. Did they? Oh no, nobody likes a mooch. Okay. Give us, uh. I don't know, your colony. <laughs> and I will give you the flagship of our fleet. Very well. I don't think that happened. They didn't give us crap. Um, alright, alright, alright. Well, we have this planet. Uh, let us... Can we speak to them? Oh, they're... Oh, it's the nice guys. Oh, they're mad at us. Okay, tell you what, dudes. Let's, uh... This misunderstanding between us has caused great harm. Let's, let's just have some peace. Very well. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good deal. Okay. Let's say a peace treaty. And... I'll give you... A, I'll throw 100 billion credits in for your trouble. Doesn't seem like a good deal to us. How about... Show me your technologies. Oh, that's interesting. We could sort of like... See what's going on with them or whatever. You don't want peace? That's okay. I got warships for days, buddy. You ain't going nowhere. I've lost my other one. I had two. At one point I had two. I don't know where the other one is. It's somewhere though, and trust me, you don't want to be messing with me. Maybe can I see the ships that I've got somewhere? Find. Find them. Oh look, it says I have two. So, okay, hold on. They have to be around here somewhere. <laughs> I've misplaced a couple of galactic ships. Like, there's only so many things I can see on the screen, right? And we do have Fog of War. So first of all, is the ship somehow with this one? No, that's just a ship by itself. Okay. That's a scout ship. That's a freighter. These are nothing ships. Earth. Oh my god, it never launched from Earth. Okay, well, there you go. It was just in the, the docking port the whole time. Okay, so you're going to come right over here. You're going to come right over here. Oh my god, they blew up my ship! Uh-oh. Hmm, that's not good. Defeated by an Altarian Defender. Launch. Maybe I can... Ah, here we go. Construction is coming along steadily on our first starbase. These massive structures will serve as key mechanism for expanding our empire, providing necessary assistance whenever we need the most. Okay. Oh, I see. So I found those... Th those things are all over the place. Oh, shoot. I could have got that one, too. Crater. Indominant. I saw those things all over the map. I didn't know what they were. Definitely should have built construction ships. My own fault. My own damn fault. Now, what does this starbase actually do, though? Just chills. Okay. 
Ah, you bastards! Oh, they're totally gonna just invade this planet. Launch ship. There's no shipyard. Can I just quickly destroy all this stuff? Because they're totally gonna capture this back. They're like a pillage, maintenance, one billion credits. What can you build though? You can't build anything. Um, hold on. Let's see if we can build a orbital Omega ship defense. Planetary defense. Um, bye. Okay, we're totally going to have no money left. But let's see. Okay, I think now we have planetary defense here. Yeah! Invasion defenses. I don't know if that... I want actual guns that will shoot down uh, enemy transports that try and come in here. Okay, anyway, this ship, I guess, can just go get upgraded. Because there's really no point in it, you know, mining garbage. Now it's class 15. So I guess the classes, the higher the class, the better the planet. Oh, class 3, it's because I have three available spots to build. That was class 12. That has a lot to build. This is class 4. Right, right, right. It totally makes sense. When you say it aloud, it's 246 weeks. Jeez, that sucks. We should be building more stuff here. Like, this should definitely be farming. Build. This should be... Uh, I don't know. Increases manufacturing. Build. This should be... Uh, research. Build. I don't know how it requires soil enrichment to be used. So I guess we don't have that. Vast swaths of the earth are not being used for anything, guys. Just FYI, planet. Much of it is not being used at all. Launch the ship. Let me upgrade this puppy. Upgrade to... Nothing. Well, I wish I could build better ships. My options are small... Cargo or tiny? I want like big invasion forces. I want to like skip to the part where I should have done like War of the Gods or something like that. War of the Gods. Well, I mean, this could go on and on and on for us. Um, and I didn't, I don't want to make like another like five hour three part space game you know we did some of that back around christmas we played uh civilization the star trek mod and stuff and actually i like this i 100 percent could see myself of play, you know playing this back in the day i mean i was a huge masters of orion fan if i had if this had existed back in the day when I was into Masters of Orion, I 100% would have played this and gotten into it. I, I really like everything I see. It's, it's basically Master of Orion, just more advanced. Um, so yeah, like my my go-to strategy would be to eventually develop like warships and go through the universe and like try and conquer things. That's what I always did in uh, in uh, Master of Orion and Civilization. I always had fun with that. But yeah, it seems like a cool game. I like the the ship. I, I mean, it's Master of Orion, right? Shipbuilding, um, colonization, war, negotiations. It's got all the greats, all the good stuff going on here. Um, I guess the only complaint is that there's nothing to colonize, but that's probably just because I selected a small universe. If we selected a bigger universe or fewer opponents, we could colonize and have a bit more of an empire. Um, I think it's very, you know, for anyone who has played Master of Orion or Civilization, it's pretty intuitive, actually. Like, I'm able to figure out everything um, pretty quickly. I mean, like, you know, arguably I'm not doing very well. I don't 100% know what things I should be building and stuff, but it's like, you know, there's very clear um, info bubbles wherever you need to 
figure stuff out. You know, there's sort of uh, clear markers indicating like all the levels everything is at. Um, it would obviously take time to get good at this game. Learn the nuances of like what you should be trying to build and what's going to help you and this and that. But um, in terms of the game itself, it, I think it looks pretty good. In fact, I before I do quit, I'm going to look up what the thousand one book does say about this game here okay so i do have the book open but here's a fun fact this game was actually developed by a company called stardock and they were founded in 91 and they initially developed software for the os2 platform which i don't know if you guys have ever heard of os2 but it is like a weird competitor of windows that totally collapsed by 97 I haven't heard the name OS2. It's OS slash 2. I haven't heard that in years. And I vaguely remember it existing. But yeah, I guess they started developing software for OS2. Then that went belly up. And then they decided, hey, let's get into the gaming industry. And uh, they're known for the Galactic Civilizations franchise and some other things. So, I mean, they did well for themselves. It's good. It's just funny they started as an obscure business software company. But... Um, all right, Galactic Civilization 2, the book says, as the 2002 to close, Stardock had positioned itself as the most outspoken developer in the PC gaming community, arguing that piracy is simply a non-issue and that more restrictive controls by publishers only succeed in alienating customers. The best defense against piracy, they suggested, was in improving levels of service and simply making games that are uh, of limited interest to pirates. So they came up with Galactic Civilizations 2... Um, blah, blah, blah. It's a 4X game. Um, it took direct inspiration from Ascendancy and Masters of Orion. It was a highly amusing ability to piece together your own ships using impractical designs and standouts. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The game improved by following an excellent launch with illustrated expansions. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, the book just says a lot of gobbledygook. I find sometimes the book's entries are, like, largely just filler. They don't really say anything all that interesting. But long story short, it's a good game, similar to Masters of Orion and Civilization. If you like those games, do check it out. I think you will enjoy it. But, hey, that's just my take on it. What did you guys think of our little peek here at uh, Galactic Civilization 2 here? Does it look like a cool game? Does it look terrible? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, guys, thank you for checking out this game with me. I will catch you in the next one. Until then, my friend, do take care of yourselves. And peace! Soldering. Soldiering?